season's a process. Obviously, we talked about it a lot, and it's uh, it's the growth I think that we have collectively, and all the hardness and the hard moment we have. That's now we 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 have a style of play that you know it doesn't come overnight. That give us a chance. That being said, you got to stay humble, you got to stay hungry. Like I told the guys, you you got to take it for what it is. I think our execution has improved. As of the last few weeks, we've worked a lot on it. We've challenged the guys, and they've raised um, to the uh, you know to the challenge. Um, again, it's one game. I'm already thinking about the weekend, and uh, uh, I'm happy that the guys are in sync. The ego are aside. Guys are finding their way together. If, if three straight games of great goalie play, an excellent goalie play. What are you seeing from from your two guys back there? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's always two things. The goalie's playing well and the team in front of him is playing structure so the goalie knows what's coming a little bit. So I think tonight is a combination of both. I think uh, Das was in leaky. He was solid and same thing with, with you know Oli last weekend but I feel they know the way we want to play what should be coming at them uh, and I thought tonight was a good example of that. That being said um, our job is to make sure we protect Doss and Oli the best we can. For me, goaltending is not a strategy. It's the jokers, the wild cards, the guy that can push you over the edge once in a while, but it shouldn't be the guy you rely on. Well, that being said, when you do have a breakdown like what happened in the first period, to have Doss make a save to shut down Reed Duke, what does that do for your team in the lift it gives you? Well, when you have confidence, you know, in the way you play and the goalie behind you, then, you know, obviously, you know breaks down are going to happen because... You know, you're going to give power play or you're going to give a, a few a few chances. But um, if he's composed and he knows they're coming and he's, he's rested, right? I think it's sometimes it's, it's just the volume of the crazy play ahead of you that could get you tired of a son of goalie as good as you are. It's, it's it, Like I said, goalie's not a strategy. That being said, good goalie makes save when they happen. And, um, you know, and Doss was very composed on that play to give himself to stay in the fight. And that's what I like is that as calm as he is, when there's a play that needs to be, you know, fight, it needs to be in the fight he is. We've talked a lot about Hunter and his progression so far this year, and he's putting up points now at a crucial time for this team. Just what do you like from his game here? Well, I, I, I mean, this is the result of days and weeks that you work. And, and, and I remember us talking this summer about uh, where we were uh, as an organization and where he was in that process and you know to invest 100% I've been a forward because I felt you know I know him from junior his attribute and it's tough to tell a player you're going to change position and um, you know you get drafted as a defenseman and then we tell you well we think that forward could be suited for you because of your attribute which was true but he bought into it and I think the reason why Hunts got success right now it's because of his attitude towards the challenge and his attitude towards the team. When we needed a guy to go on the back end because we were, you know, struck by COVID and stuff, he had a good attitude about it. When a couple of guys went down, he came to see me right away and said, put me on, on defense coach. That pays off. You're a good person. You invest. You, and that's why I think right now a lot of guys are getting the reward from their investment. And um, it's no different in life. You know, it is. people have bad attitude, bad thing will seem to be around them. People have good attitude, good things seems to, you know, follow them around. So I think that uh, Hans has embraced the challenge. He's understood. He's grown a lot in the position. And um, I think now it's just for him to keep going, right?